So everything that I'll pack out will fit into this 30 liter dry bag. This story begins in a basement in Denver. I've been uh, kind of training and prepping for this since May. But we'll take Evan Stratton across the world by boat. We're a four man crew, all US military veterans. For the next two months, Stratton and the rest of the fight or die team will row from the Canary Islands in Spain across the Atlantic Ocean to Antigua. Their mission is bigger than just finishing one of the hardest races on the planet. You know, I can't sit down and talk to every individual going through a tough time. What I can do is go row an ocean and say, hey, you got to leave the safe harbor. Stratton served in the Marine Corps and deployed to Iraq. His service changed his life. I had a traumatic brain injury. I had reintegration challenges, and I also lost my best friend in that same attack. So, you know, I dealt a lot with PTSD. And I would argue that that this row overall is more of a mental game than it is a physical game. Ethan Banner is used to helping veterans deal with PTSD. Now, researchers from the University of Denver are training the rowers how to survive 60 days alone on the water. Cognitively and mentally, this is probably the most challenging thing that these rowers will face in their potentially in their entire life. We're going to row in two-man shifts for two hours at a time, 24 hours a day. Thousands of miles, four veterans, and one goal that could save countless lives. Whatever your personal battles are, it's tough. I know I've been there. In Denver, I'm Mark Salinger, 9 News.